and you are now watching the Nino channel. We need just um, just a little bit more energy, Nina. Okay. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the story of the dragon princess who was beautiful in her land of um, land and she had long gold nails and stuff until the evil um, thingamajigger turned her into a dragon but she was still a pretty dragon at least um, and she had more gold jewelry on her head. Anyway, um, if you want to turn to this look, stay tuned and stuff. <laughs> Welcome to another Nina Bonina Brown tutorial. Anyway, I'm putting some tape on my head and snatching my skin back so my eyes can be really cunt. Cunt, 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 cunt. Look at me now, I'm Snatch. Now what I'm doing is put on some face powder on my eyebrows. They already glue down and stuff. The next thing I'm doing is putting on some Krylon TV foundation paint stick. Some of us don't need this heavy foundation, neither do I. But I want y'all to feel good about y'all selves, so I'm wearing it. Next you want to do after you blend all that is put this red stuff on your face. I'm trying to go for some kind of design. Do what you want to do. I hope all of you guys are having a good day. If you can't tell by the excitement in my voice, I'm glad you're here. And I know some of y'all hateful bitches will be talking about cultural appropriation. Girl, bye. I'm appreciating it. I'm doing my own look. Oh, God. Once you do that, then you want to outline it with a darker red. So I'm putting like a burgundy around it to make it more 3D. But at the end of the day, do what you feel best works for you. And then after you do that, then you want to just powder it and make sure that it's set with a translucent powder. Moving on to my Ben Nye Cream Palette. Now I'm putting in some metallic cream paint to make that stuff shine bright like a diamond. Now after that, I'm using my old ass MAC blush I can't even tell you the name. And I'm just going over where we put the dark red cream earlier. Taking some red glitter and some eyelid primer. Put the primer on first so the glitter has something to stick to. Because otherwise, what is the glitter sticking to? What, your hopes and dreams? Oh wow, it's really bright like a diamond. Now I'm putting it on with a big wide brush. Look at me now, mama. I'm living my dreams. Mascara. Using my black cream to do my eyeliners. However you want to do your eyeliners, do it. I'm just winging mine out to the corner. I'm gonna need her to wing a little faster. And then put some of that same black eyeliner on your bottom portion of your eye. I said portion, I know big words, who gonna pop me? Now some black eyeshadow. I always use black eyeshadow to go over my cream liner. It makes it more intensified. Yes, I said intensified. And it makes it more darker.
Now I'm using one of my favorite concealers from Bobbi Brown Concealers. They stop using it. Don't you hate when you find something that you really love and they have the nerve to discontinue it. It was creamy like butter. See, I'm mad. It ran out. Now I'm going to my Anastasia Contour Cream Palette. I'm doing something. Okay. I'm contouring my cheeks and my face with the cream. Blend your life away. Who else going to do it for you? Blending it out. Keep on blending. Now we're gonna set it with some powder. I'm using some Laura Mercier, but in case you're not a famous ex drag queen like me and you can't afford it, then go on down to the Walgreens or the CVS and get you some Cody powder. And now I'm just cooking and baking because Lord knows I never learned how to do it in the kitchen. If you hear that sound, my stomach is growling. A bitch is hungry. Now I'm taking some contour powder and going over the cream to make it more defined. Some more of that black cream and do on my eyebrows. I'm going for a nice, sharp, precise eyebrow that goes up and slanted. But do what you want to do for your face. Now I'm using some of that same black cream and creating a nasty, sickening eyelid. Oh my God, there goes Coco barking in the background. Oh, Lord. Now I'm using some of that same eyeshadow and buffing out and blending out that black cream. Putting on my nasty 301 eyelashes. Now I'm using some of that same black. Oh, I said black. It's red. Excuse me cream and just going down and just creating designs whatever comes to your heart go for it or do what i do now i'm blending out the powders with my mac deep press powder I'm making a pouty face. I don't know why. Because Lord knows I sound happy. I'm using some blush for my La Femme palette. Now I'm taking a darker blush and just making it more defined and to match what's going on with my eyes. There you go. She's beautiful. Get into it. Isn't she a model? Work that puss. The world is yours. You're a supermodel. Hey guys, so we're back. Sorry y'all my phone died. So, and it was late. It's late now. So I just went ahead and finished the look. But it's okay because you know what? We're still gonna be able to watch and see the dragon look, honey. Yes, girl. But this is my female 
before the dragon takes over. So anyway, honey, yes, let's go ahead and get to this dragon look. Oh. Guys, I can't. This thing is so, whoever made this is cute as hell. But whoever made this say, you know what, if you're a man, oh well. Because this is like clearly for a female with really small hands. It doesn't really fit, but it's so cute I had to buy it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to this dragon now, darling. In five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the sound of my excited voice. What you see me using here is some yellow Paradise water activated paint from Meron. The prosthetic came from a company called Norfer FX. I don't know why I'm promoting them. Lord knows he never gave me a discount. Using some of that same paint and putting it on my body. And just take a reference of a picture of a dragon and do what you do. Now I'm taking some red, cause the whole theme is like red and gold. Excuse me while I blow my nose. Ooh, that was a big one. Now I'm using some of that red and putting it on my prosthetic in my face. And the only thing I hate about his prosthetics is that I think he molds it to his face. And he has a big ass face compared to my skinny, unique, narrow, high cheekbone face. So sometimes the prosthetic is really hard to put on. So my advice to you is learn how to do your own prosthetics. Now I'm using some black paint and just going into the nostrils. This is when you start adding more details. The more details, the more realistic, the more realistic, the more I was never black China. Now using some pink and just coloring inside the mouth of the prosthetic to make it look like gums, tums, and yums. Taking some of that gold paint and now bringing it to my paper horns. Oh yes, she's making her own prosthetics out of paper. But if you can do better, use the real stuff. Now I'm taking some gold eyeshadow. That's really pretty and putting it on my eyelid and I'll be using that throughout going on top of the yellows to make it look more metallic. Putting some white in the corner of my eyes. Now I'm defining and using a black paint again and going to my eyelid and making things look more zabble that was in. Taking some of that yellow paint and going on top of the black. Like I said, this is when you're detailing. And now I'm winging and eyelining my line on my eye. What we're doing now is just a little bit of highlight under the eyes. Nothing big, nothing major. Oh yeah, we're drawing dragon titties. There's nothing wrong with a little titty. Even if it's reptilian, we all gotta live. Now 
Now, I'm using some paper cutouts that I did for teeth. But if you got some better looking teeth, please put them on. Lord knows. Do as I say, but not what I do. And I'm sticking it on with some spirit gum. I never understood why it's called spirit gum. I don't see no spirit nor gum. And the rest of them I'm gonna paint on with some white just to make it look more a little realistic and bring it up more to my face. And now just to elongate the mouth to match the teeth, put in some more yellow. The more you do it and the more you do your own thing, you'll be like, okay, this goes here. This is making it look more like a dragon. Some more paper cutouts. I wanted it to look like smoke is coming out the nostrils. So that's what I did. Now we're putting on my lashes. We all know how to put on lashes. If you don't by now, then God help you. Just blending away the powder that I had sitting under my eyes. And using some of that same gold shimmer powder and highlighting under my eyes. And what do you have it? We're done. Thank you for watching this video. And no, it's not Mushu, but girl, when will my reflection grow? And... We're back. Oh, as always, guys, thank you guys for sticking and tuning in with me. And I know you're wondering, is this Mushu bitch from Milan? No. <laughs> I wish that I would have chose a different palette, but it does look like Mushu because of the colors. But anyway, it's still good. I still love it. Rest regardless, I still like it. And as always, I want to thank you guys for just keeping me company. And I hope it just inspired you guys to do something. And yeah. As always, remember, stay beat, stay beautiful, and stay blessed. Bye. And that has been the story of the princess who was turned to a dragon. So moral of the story is, um, never turn to a dragon. Like... <laughs> Just saying, but anyway, see you next time, guys. When will my reflection show?